Before we use our calculator to evaluate the six trig ratios, we want to make sure we're in the right mode. Uh, because our angles this time are measured in degrees as opposed to radians, we want to make sure our calculator is in degree mode. So to check that, uh, press the mode button, which is located right here. And if you scroll down, you want to make sure that degree is highlighted for working with degrees. Uh, later on, we'll have to switch back and forth between degrees and radians. But for now, let's make sure that degree is highlighted. Otherwise, every single answer would be wrong, and that's not good. All right, so to find the sine of 85, uh, it's just as simple as typing in sine, regular sine. Type in 85, and there is the sine of 85. Notice I've already rounded to four decimal places. Four should be plenty for what we're doing. Uh, next up is to find the cotangent of 55.5 degrees. Well, I press the cotangent button and, uh-oh, I don't have one. Some people think, well, okay, that's not a big deal. I press second tangent. That's not cotangent. That's something totally different. So instead, the only way to evaluate these is to remember that cotangent, cosecant, secant, those are all reciprocals of the three that we know about. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. And so actually what we do to type in a cotangent is we type in one divided by the tangent. That's going to have the effect of doing the reciprocal. So one divided by the tangent of 55.5 will get me what the cotangent is. Uh, and that's the only way to get these typed in. Some people think of reciprocals and so they start to think, oh, well, it's just the tangent of 1 over 55.5, uh, you can see like that's definitely not going to work. It's not the same answer. So you've got to type it in as 1 over and then type in the sign part. Okay. Uh, next up then is secant. Well, we have to remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So to find the secant of 123 degrees on your calculator, it's 1 divided by the cosine of 123. That's how I got my answer right there, rounded. Uh, and then finally, We've got the cosine of 45. So we're going to type this in. I type in cosine of 45 and I see that, wait, that's not the answer I have down here. Remember that 45 degrees is one of our special angles along with 30 and 60 degrees. So as soon as you see one of those special angles, you're not going to get a decimal. Uh, I don't want you to get a decimal. Instead, I want to get an exact value. So using that chart we made in class, I'm going to look up the cosine of 45 to be the square root of 2 over 2. Some people think they'll just do this on their calculator and hit math and fraction. But since square root of 2 over 2 is irrational, it can't write it as a fraction, so it won't do it. Um, so the only way to do it is check that chart or uh, work this out using right triangles. Uh, I can see that 0.707 is, is the same thing. I mean, if I want to check it, I can try this. The square root of 2 over 2 is the same thing as 0.707. But I want that exact value if it's one of my special angles.